Hey kids, welcome to Lesson 8, Boolean Expressions and If Statements, number 8. You try it. This example is very similar to the worked example on the previous page. It is a version of the movie age checker that uses a drop down. We've provided the starting UI elements, including the drop down, but none of the code. We have a do this. Using the example on the previous page as a guide, we are going to add an event handler for the drop down menu that triggers on change. We're going to add an if statement to check if the age chosen in the drop down is greater than or equal to 13 and set the text in the result label. If the age is over 13, we have some text here. You're old enough to see a PG-13 movie. Otherwise, we're going to set it to you are not old enough. We have a couple tips here. Use get number ID instead of get text to get the value out of the drop down menu here. One major difference from the example is that while well, you want to compare the value of the drop down to a number using the greater than or equal to rather than the just equal to. You should use get number age drop down to extract the value as a number rather than a text. This is the same reason we use prompt num instead of prompt for a simple console examples. Hmm, that's interesting. And we have finally, it will still work if you use get text, but it's not in good form. Hmm. Well, that sounds pretty interesting and fun. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I want to do is I want to initialize this. So I know I need some sort of event handler. And what do I want to initialize on? Well, probably this drop down menu, because if I hit run now, there isn't any other uh, buttons or anything. So it really has to run on the drop down menu. And that label, if we go to design and go here, it is age dropdown. I'm going to replace that in the ID there. Here's the next part. Right now, it is set to click. And if you see, it actually should trigger on change. We're going to come back to this in a bit and explore that after we get this program running and why we want that to change. And I think it's a little more interesting once we get there. Well, now that I am uh, got an event on the drop down menu here, what do I need to do next? Hmm. Well, I think we are first going to need an if or else statement. And this is going to be because something's going to happen. One text is going to be displayed if we hit the number, another if we don't. Well, what do we want to get? Well, we want to get whatever's happening from this drop down menu. So if we get, um, if we go to our UI controls here, we see we have this new command down here called get number. And what this is going to do is get the number of this age drop down button. So I'm just going to copy this right here again. And whenever somebody sets the age drop something, we want something else to happen. Well, what do we want to happen? Well, we want to compare it to that age, and that is the greater than or equal to 13. So we're going to go greater than or equal to 13. We don't need any um, quotations here because this is a number. Now that we're comparing whatever the drop down is, we have to tell it what happens here. And this is where we're going to set the text. So the first one we're going to set to text. Well, what text are we going to set? This result label right here. And what text do we want it to say? Well, that first one says, you are old enough to see the movie alone. So I'm just going to replace this text here to say, you are old enough to see this movie alone. Else, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to set the text. Result label. Right there and our text for this one is going to be you're not old enough to see this movie alone. 
That should set the text down here. Earlier, I said, what's the difference between this click and change? Let's go ahead and see that in action now. Let's go ahead and hit run. When I hit this drop down menu, notice this pops up immediately. Doesn't give me a chance to choose anything. It just defaults to five because I clicked on it. I don't want it to click. I want it to do when the user changes it. So I'm gonna to go to change here now. So on the event, the age drop down, somebody changes it, this function will happen. I also notice I have a spelling error here. Should say you are not old enough to get in there. We're gonna reset, let's run it now. Notice when I click down, it doesn't do anything until I choose something. 12, not old enough, I get that you're not old enough. 15, you are old enough. Looks like our code is working exactly like it should. Looking back up here in our do this, we did add an event handler and it triggers on change instead of click. We added an if statement and it changed the result label text here based off of whether they chose a number greater than or less than 13. Pretty neat. Let's see if code.org wants anything else from us. Nope. Good job, kids. I'll see you on the next lesson.